first year of the Trump administration. Highlights, lowlights, um, overall impressions? Yeah, it's hard to find uh, highlights. Um, it's been a pretty tough year. Uh, yeah, this is kind of unprecedented. I think if you're going to write a novel uh, and someone would write down what happened last year, you know, I think publishers would have rejected it as too outrageous uh, and too unbelievable. Some of your fellow House Democrats have launched a impeachment petition. What a serious process. I mean, let's not take this lightly. Right. Um, is that a realistic possibility? To actually get impeachment. Or the other thing people talk about is the 25th Amendment, whether or not this president's stable uh, enough to be president, is going to require Republicans. Let me stop you there. Mike Barnacle of MSNBC said this president is unfit for office. Do you agree? I've just seen him do so many things that are unpresidential. It's not disagreeing about tax rates, all right? That, I think, is more ideological. But it's things that really are at the core of who we are as a country that go beyond Democrat, Republican, Independent, that show an unfitness. Is it responsible, Mark, for you to take a position that you would vote for an impeachment resolution when uh, Mr. Mueller has not made his final report yet? Because I think there's other things. Other, I think that it's not just Russian collusion that we're talking about impeachment. There's um, emoluments uh, clause, the fact that he's profiting Personally as a president, profiting. which you're not... Able, you're not supposed to do, and he's doing over and over and over again. Paul Ryan used to stand up to Donald Trump when he ran for president. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I want that Paul Ryan back. I, I think some aliens have taken him. We've got this pod creature now that seems to do whatever Paul, uh, Donald Trump wants. I have predicted Scott Walker is not going to get reelected. If you ever wanted to be governor, this is the year to run for governor. Foxconn. That was such an awful decision. It's not supported across the state anywhere. Even in Racine, if so, he thought Foxconn was a winner for him, he would have been wearing a Foxconn cap. He would have had a Foxconn badge. The fact that he didn't even mention it in his announcement for governor means he knows he screwed up.